Hi guys, these are the products that I use to achieve the moisturized thick twist that I put in my hair. I have a list of each of the items down in the description box. I hope you enjoy this video and thumbs up if you like and make sure that you subscribe if you are new to my channel. Alright guys, you are about to see me at my raw form. I just got from the gym working out and this is my hair after I had some box braids in there. I had the box braids in for about a month and a half. So I just took out my hair yesterday and this is it guys. This is the wild child. This is what it looks like right after um, I've taken out my braids and I'm about to wash to shampoo condition and twist my hair. Okay, right here I have an apple cider vinegar and water mixture. I typically uh, spray this in my hair at least once a month. This is really good for when you have any buildup or you just want to clean your hair. It allows it for it allows for it to be so soft and uh, so much manageable. The only thing is you want to make sure that you are going to condition after it because it does take out anything that's in your hair because it clarifies it. So I try to do this. Um, at least once a month okay after I have sat with about 15 minutes with the apple cider vinegar in, and I put a plastic cap on um, I take it out and then this is kind of the look that you get after um, it sits in your hair for about 10 to 15 minutes after that I use a wide tooth comb and that's when when I begin to uh, section my hair in four parts you want to make sure especially if your hair is thicker or it is longer that you section your hair in four parts when you're about to wash it um, because it allows for the shampooing and the conditioning phase to be so much easier as well as to detangle it so I always make sure that I section my hair in four parts before I begin to shampoo and condition it alright guys now that I have my hair sectioned into four different sections it is time for me to wash my hair and condition my hair is all washed and clean and now it's time for me to begin to twist my hair. This is kind of the after look after I've washed my hair. There is a little bit of conditioner still left in my hair but I don't mind it because I still put extra conditioner on my hair when I begin my twist. The leave-in conditioner that I typically use is with Design Essentials. It is the Kui Ku and coconut design essentials leave-in conditioner i absolutely love it it makes my hair feel amazing it's not too thick it's not too thin and it always moisturizes my hair in a way that i don't have to worry about it getting dried so quickly so when i begin um after I, after i wash my hair i pick a section and i put a, a good amount of design essentials um conditioner in my hair that's about how much i put in there I make sure I start at the ends because of course we know the ends are the driest and then I work my way down. I always like to make sure I put a generous amount at the end of uh, my hair and you know still make sure I work in the new growth so that that can be moisturized as well. After I place um, the conditioner on my hair I always put this oil um, as a sealer on it. So this oil is just a combination of coconut oil olive oil and jojoba oil Jamaican jojoba oil and so I always try to seal it once I put the conditioner on the ends once I've sealed my hair with the oil this is when I use the fine tooth rat comb don't worry guys I am not about to comb my hair with it I really only use this comb to part my hair I really love straight parts not that I do them perfectly but this comb or the metal part of uh, the comb allows for me to have straight parts um, with these twists I usually do them for a uh, twist out but sometimes if you want to wear them for a few days as a protective style you can as well so that's why I try to get my parts as straight as I can and this comb really helps to facilitate that okay now that I have my parts uh, parted um, I am about to apply more oil now guys I know you're thinking like tear this is a lot of oil but I'm telling you this is the mystery ingredient to make sure that your hair is moisturize with a lot of oil <laughs> that's my little cup of oil that I just put it in so it's easier for me to dab now where I'm about to part 
this really depends on your um, hair thickness as well as how big or small you want your part or your, your twist. So the first thing I do is I reapply some olive oil on my hair again from root to end, especially on the end. And then I take my rat tail brush and then I comb it through to make sure that I don't have any extra hair from the, the weave that I had in as well as any tangles. So because my hair is pretty thick, I want my twist to be big. Cause again, I'm wearing this as a protective style for maybe three to four days, but then essentially I'm just wearing, I'm just doing this for a twist out. Now, some people ask me the question, what allows you to have pretty twists? Make sure that each individual strand is evenly made. So as it's distributed, you make sure that it's even so that when a twist comes out, it looks even. So make sure that the, the hair that you put in your left hand and the right hand are about the same amount. And then you just twist down all the way to the end till you get finished with your twist. To give you guys another example, I'm going to show you another up close of my second individual twist. Again, I make sure that I apply oil to uh, the hair, to my hair, <laughs> and from root to end, and then I am going to go ahead and get ready to twist, making sure that there aren't any tangles in my hair so that when I twist, it's not going to be difficult, making sure that um, there is equal amount of hair in both of my hands so that my twist will look even. All right guys, I have finished with half of my head and you can begin to see um, the thickness of the twist and also the moisture that's locked in. Um, as I run my hands through my head, I can really feel the moisture and the oil that's allowing it to be locked in. It's not over oiled to where it's dripping down my neck, but it's enough to make sure that my hair will stay moisturized. Um, here are some up close uh, of the twist. So I hope you enjoy this video and make sure to comment below if you get to try this right, style. So uh, I'm fixing uh, the 